This is Startup Storefront. Change is constant. It's inevitable. But it doesn't always have to be bad. Hentifiers aren't strangers to their neighborhood. They're from the community, and they're trying to build up the community that's near and dear to their hearts. From Hentification, we get Hentify, a development company founded by Barney Santos. The goal is to act as a catalyst to stimulate economic growth through entrepreneurial activities. Their first project is Boulevard Market, a carefully curated food hall in beautiful downtown Montebello. It's committed to serving up good food, good drinks, and good vibes. In this video, we talk with Barney Santos about the difference between gentrification and hentification, keeping money local, and being greater than the sum of the stereotypes as a community. And thank you to Cat Footwear for sponsoring this episode. They're a premier shoe company that empowers builders and doers to reframe the world to create something more meaningful. This marks our final episode celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, so let's go out with a bang. So gentrification is when outsiders come in and push people out, you know, you know, intentionally or unintentionally. But yeah. gentrification is when people from the community invest back into their community, right? So like they're opening up concepts and businesses, and they do it in a responsible way that's uh, in alignment with kind of like the fabric, the social cultural fabric that's there. Yeah. You know, hopefully creating interventions to help offset some of the negatives, right? Um, at least that's what I think. And so the company Hentify we built wanted to be the action verb of that. And so like, how do we initiate that more? in the communities that are considered our communities with local people driving it. So for me, it's like, okay, well, knowing that every project we sink our teeth into, there is a lot of research that goes in that we have to do, like meeting the community, having, like even before Montebello, we met with probably over 200 people, like just from the local community, local organizations, uh, chamber of commerce, council members, like leaders in the community. We, we had town hall meetings, not even to say this is what we're doing, but like, hey, what do you want? Like, what what is it you need? So my opinion, like, asking the community and asking them what they're nervous about and afraid about like first and trying to figure out how do you create interventions to offset that stuff right so i think that's the key is being intentional as you possibly can so you're tapping into like their their fear of the is of the unknown and so the more information that you can provide them the better off they'll be and the more supportive they'll be yeah, I mean, I, I think the easier it is for you to get an honest representation of what the needs of the community are, right? And so you can address them directly and build something that that will have a higher chance of being successful and also, you know, try to offset some of those negative externalities that you don't want. Um, look, I mean, gentrification is a real thing, right? Like, it's a real thing. But by the time a restaurant pops up in the corner, it's a byproduct of things that are already taking place, right? Like the community is already changing and so like communities change on their own like they evolve over time they just do the question is, is how do you create interventions and how do you be responsible about how you participate right in evolutions can you do it responsibly can you do it effectively can you lobby for more affordable housing can you leverage your your, your voice and like work with council members to create more policies to help offset some of those negative things that's what my feelings are it's like how do you be responsible in the community